Hello and welcome to another edition of Frightfully Forgotten Horror Movies, a special Halloween edition. Yep. The movie we're covering today, we hope, does get forgotten. Swept under the rug forever. But before we get started, what are we drinking? We're drinking Portafoy's Paranoid Porter. Portafoy! Portafoy? Portafoy. Back, Jeremy, back! <laughs> you burned me! Deliberately! We just came back from the theater watching... Exorcist Believer. It's a matter of life and death! And let me tell you, I'm a believer that this movie is one piece of garbage. We've pretty much decided to almost turn this into a non-review. Yeah. It's not even worth reviewing. People have reviewed it already, so it's no big news that this movie is a complete piece of garbage. It's pretty much across the board, the consensus that it sucks. There's no point really reviewing it. Yeah, just flogging a dead horse by this point. The funny thing is, is we didn't even have to see this movie to know it was bad. Yeah, we already knew it was going to be garbage. Well, even before the, the trailers came out, we were like, yeah. oh, there's a new Exorcist movie coming out and it's being done by Blumhouse? Ugh. What are they going to have in it, right? And we started calling off all the crazy shit that they were going to have. All the shit that they wouldn't have, right? Yeah. This is the underlying tones that made the original good. Yeah. All the shit that they're going to fuck up. And all the... We knew they were going to have all these little tiny heartbacks to the original as well, right? Yeah. Which they, they ended up having. Your cunting daughter! Like, it's got no relevance in that movie at all! We predicted all that stuff even before the trailer dropped. Yeah. Then the trailer dropped. Trailer number one. <laughs> and they were like... Yep, uh, <laughs> like, that's exactly what we knew it would be. And all the jittery shit, like we knew, like it's like, even before a trailer dropped it, it would be all <laughs> <laughs> like just this the modern horror bullshit. It's just so funny where we didn't even have to spend our hard earned money to go see the movie to know it was bad. <laughs> and then we saw it and it was even worse than we thought it was gonna be. Much, much <laughs> worse. <laughs> We were laughing through most of the scenes in the fucking movie that weren't even actually funny. It was, it was just our sick sense of humor. It was more was... of a comedy than a goddamn <laughs> horror movie. It was a fucking farce is what it was. <laughs> Briefly touching what we disliked about this movie before we go into the broader topic, the sad state of Hollywood horror. So, first of all, the, the, the characters, well, there were... Way too many! Like, you didn't need, like, ten main characters yeah. that you couldn't even keep track of or care about. There's not enough time to develop ten of these people that keep coming and going. And the pacing? Yeah, the pacing oh. was... It, the pacing was odd in this movie because they took too much time developing stuff that really wasn't necessary in the story. Yeah. Then they take too little time developing what is important in the story. Yeah. It's like, oh, get your shit together. They tried doing a slow burn and <laughs> in the failed, beginning. <laughs> failed miserably. Yeah. And then as soon as the possession happens, the pacing picked up way too quick, where it's like they jump way too quick to the conclusion that these girls are possessed. Mm -hmm. It's like the first thing they think of. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's like, like they what? gotta be possessed. I, I knew they were gonna do that too, I knew it. The constant infighting between the characters too during, you know, what's supposed to be a sad time for one thing, and for another you're supposed to be getting together to try and find your daughters. They don't get along because they're believers and he's a non-believer. Yeah. It's just a very poor way of making a statement about people not getting along because they're religious differences. It's a very yeah. poor way of doing it. It was. It was poor, piss poor character development. This movie came out during the same time as Writer's Strike. Writers don't want like AI taking over their jobs and shit. This movie... <laughs> seemed like it was written by AI. It was like they just put in like some description and like, oh, the new Exorcist movie is about two girls that get lost in the forest. They come back and they're possessed. And then uh, Chris McNeil shows up and enter. And it yeah. just wrote this random thing that made no fucking sense. But we want to touch on is a couple of things. The state of horror movies today. This is a blatant example of how this has to stop soon. <laughs> so Exorcist came out 50 years ago and pushed some major boundaries 50 years ago. Yeah. And this movie could not 
even come close. Like what? It fifty years later, you can't try to top some of the things they did in the original. Yeah. Like the best you can come up with was some girl sing the body and the blood in a church. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God! Like that's that's horrible. That's just that's disturbing. Uh huh. Yeah. Doesn't even come close to Reagan stabbing yourself with a crucifix. Like, if, if that's what you have to try to beat, then beat it! Yeah, at, at least or try! try. <laughs> you didn't even come close! Like, the, this movie that was completely pointless and didn't need to exist. Yeah. And that's the main problem, and that's what we're going to talk about, is these types of movies like Exorcist Believer, the Halloween trilogy that just came out, they don't need to exist. Mm -hmm. No one wanted them, and we don't need them. And it needs to fucking stop, because the state of Hollywood horror is just so stale. It's, it's a, it literally is a fucking joke. This movie just kind of cinched it up. Yeah. It's like, this movie's a fucking joke. It's not saying anything. It's not saying anything new. It's not speaking to people nowadays. It's not scaring anybody. No, they had no scares at all. And that's the way most of these new horror movies are. It's just jump, quick jump scares. Yeah. Everything at face value, just so you can get a quick scare, and then the movie's over, and then you walk away with nothing sticking to you. Nothing to go home and think about. Yeah. Which is what a good horror movie should do, especially Stuff to do with possession, psychological type stuff, stuff to do with religion. They should be going home and like laying in bed and like it keeping you up at night, bothering you a bit, or at least something to ponder. Mm -hmm. yeah. This movie, the only thing I pondered is why the fuck does it exist? Besides to make fucking money, that's yeah. all it is, and just to work off the back of the original. Here's the thing at this movie, bomb. Yeah, yeah, and deservedly so. This whole trend of buying up franchises. And going to a fucking well, which is already bled so dry. <laughs> yeah. What do you expect to get out of it? They wanted a trilogy out of this, but hopefully the other two movies won't materialize. Hopefully. We even called Blumhouse Studios after we got out of the theater and begged them not to continue this. Your phone! Your phone! It's a matter of life and death! Blumhouse Studios, stop the production of the sequels! It's a death of horror and the board of millions of people don't you understand? The movie was a bomb! You gotta take him out of production! Say anything you want, do anything, you gotta believe me! The second sequel, please, it's still in production, you gotta stop it, you gotta believe me! Please stand by. The third sequel, please, please, there's no more time! Stop, stop it! Stop, stop it! it. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Blumhouse had early successes, right? Which right. gave them fucking some giant head for all this stuff, right? Yeah. Oh, if we can make millions of dollars on this, why not this other franchise? Why not this movie? And eventually they got too big for their britches where they thought they could do anything. Exorcist is one of those movies you do not touch. Or if you do, you <clears throat> have to do it differently. You can't go back to that same well again. Yeah. You have to do something like Exorcist 3 did. It's not repeating the first movie. It's mm -hmm. a continuation through character only. And not through plain possession. Yeah. It has to be done properly. Right? right? And I think that's the sad thing is that like something like Exorcist 3, it didn't do great in the box office because it wasn't an exorcist movie. Yeah. The studio even made them put in that stupid fucking yeah. exorcist scene. But now, years later, it's known as, like, the sequel. It's the sequel to The Exorcist, and it's praised for how good it is. Yeah. <clears throat> because it just doesn't repeat the first. These main Hollywood movies that are just out to make the money, well, guess what? You didn't make the money, Blumhouse. You shit the bed. You wrecked the fucking <laughs> legacy of the whole series. Yeah. There may not even be another two. Just leave it alone. Yeah, and fucking leave all of the other old, really good movies alone, too. Because all you're doing is destroying the names of the originals. You're not, you're not moving 
these stories forward one bit. You're just fucking stagnating everything. The reason people think horror is so stagnant these days is because of movies like this, because mm -hmm. of these fucking Hollywood movies that a lot of, you know, mainstream people who don't go and seek out all the other weird shit, they just go see this stuff. Yeah. And they see this, and that's what they think horror is. Yeah. This is not horror. Back in the day, man, like when the first Exorcist came out, it was a big blockbuster movie. That horror. Mm -hmm. This is horror. Blockbuster movies were good horror movies back in the day, and that's not the case anymore. They rely too much on cookie cutter, something to just hit people fast and hard. And there's nothing behind it. There's nothing. It's just, it's like, there's no legacy that these movies will ever leave behind. Besides being shit. <laughs> yes. Being complete garbage. And the legacy they leave behind is destroying a legacy. Mm. Which is the worst legacy you want to leave behind. Blumhouse, stop. Yeah. Stop making these fucking shitty reboots and rehashes of... Doesn't matter whether it's a beloved franchise or something that's fucking dead in the water or whatever. Just stop. Make something fucking new for God's sake. Yeah. Go to hell, fucking Blumhouse. Yeah, it's time that we've put all these to rest. Exorcist 3 was in what, 1991? 90. 1990? The other two Exorcist movies, you know, Dominion and <laughs> Beginning, which were kind of the same movie, they fucking bombed too. Yeah. That's the proof in the pudding. Yeah, just and, leave it alone. Uh, you know, I hate to say this too, that Exorcist 2 is actually a better movie than this new one. And that's saying a lot. <laughs> yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a better movie just for the pure enjoyment that you get out of it rather than this new one. This new one was just a piece of nonsensical garbage. Yes. <laughs> when the theme played at the end for the credits, we just burst out laughing yeah. because it was like, it's just like you... It was like watching a Naked Gun movie, and then the <laughs> Exorcist theme plays at the end. Pure comedy. <laughs> you know? They're trying to make it all more epic and stuff with all these different sounds and shit. Like, what the fuck are you guys trying to do? You guys are so fucking full of yourselves. That's what it is. Clueless and full of yourselves. Yeah. And that's a bad combo. I'd like to know who the fuck okayed all this shit. Like, what... What executive was reading this crap and going, oh yeah, as he was turning the pages, oh, money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> money. Was he getting engrossed in the story? Because how could you? <laughs> oh, there was no oh, story. Oh, this is great. This is fantastic. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, he's all stamping everything. <laughs> Body in the blood, gold. Body in the blood, gold. Yeah. Anyways, we hate for our second Halloween special of the year to be such a downer. <laughs> How could it not be? Yeah, I yeah. mean, you can't praise this fucking no. movie for anything, no. so... But next week, we'll be doing something a bit more fun. We're going to talk about how bad H2O is. <laughs> Another one! <laughs> so if you want to hear us bitch more, stay tuned. <laughs> and keep drinking.